this 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 is an assault on all of your senses Hello and welcome back to my channel. Everglow has had a comeback, not a true mini album comeback, but a single release. Still excited for this because everyone was very high off of La Di Da. I think overall that was like a really well received comeback from them, uh, possibly the one that pushed them up into maybe larger notoriety in the landscape of K-pop. Uh, definitely was a uh, favorite of mine last year, made one of my uh, like honorable mentions for my favorites of the year. And now we're gonna check out First. So I heard that this is very good, that it will like be very in your face. What we expect from Everglow, they are girl crush all the way. Honestly, my favorite Everglow songs though are some B-sides. Uh, funny enough rather than their title tracks, but I don't really know the members super well Aisha I'm pretty sure how you pronounce her name always stood out to me a lot She's I guess like my low-key favorite in this group Mia is always in the forefront So I know her for sure and then in terms of other members. I know names. There's you I think she's like the smaller rapper that was in Dun Dun I think and then there's Onda and That's maybe all I remember. I think that's it Okay, let's go. Enough talking for me. If you guys want to see the comeback stage, that is out, so we'll be checking that out right after this on Patreon if you're interested. Let's go. Everglow first. Okay, we're throwing on gas masks. We already know it's going to be hard. I'm loving the quality of this video. I like that blue hair. Sci-fi concept? Yes, please. Whoa! Orchestral, this is epic. If that's you, that was with the dark hair and the braids, right? She's tiny. Whoa, what is going on? Oh my God, yeah, she's so charismatic. You understand why she's always front and center. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to up the volume just a little bit. Oh, is this? This is some X Men type shit. Whoa, I love the transitions. Second part chorus. You know, ever since the Dun Dun video, I feel like their production quality really, not even, because you know, Adios also a really, really well done MV, which is funny. Like I, I don't see Everglow as one of the big groups, one of the like huge girl groups, but they maybe they kind of are. I, I don't know why I don't see it that way. The the production is fantastic. The camera work. I love the match cuts. Oh, dude, she's so badass. I kind of love her. Oh, come wait, 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 wait. This rap verse. This, this, this is an assault on all of your senses. This is my favorite set so far. Whoa. Very cool formation. Oh, I love how hard it hits. 
but it still has the, the confidence that, that I thought of like when I saw Espa's next level. Like this takes it a step further in terms of how hard the song goes, but it has all of that confidence, that charisma. It's like almost being like smug. I, I kind of like that. See, like with the smiles, it's very slick. Loving all the belts. Ooh, whoa, 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 hold on. I felt like I was upside down. She looks so good with that blue hair. It's like a cobalt. Are they like on their logo or something? Oh! Did anyone expect him to go this hard on a single release like this? But I like the second part chorus because it adds some melody to otherwise just like a really heavy beat and aggressiveness in the first part when we hit the drop. But that second part chorus just makes it so much more rich. Who is this that does the second part chorus? Oh. Oh my God, the facial expressions. their feet here when they go low. Oh. Love the confetti matching their outfits too. Shit. Wow. Yeah, this is the logo that I was thinking of. It, the like kind of spacey space dust that we saw underneath them looked like that. Oh, that was crazy. I kind of want to watch that again. I kind of want to watch that one more time. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Normally don't watch things twice unless it's a group I'm super like excited for. Like one of my favorites, but this was really impressive. And also, I'm just loving a sci-fi concept. It is kind of like sci-fi and also with hidden power X-Men kind of thing. This is an MV that you might see or a song that could be attached to like a video game. And I can see Alexa killing a concept like this. Jeez, see, that, that's like some Doctor Strange shit. And there are a lot of different sets. Oh, and that kind of... Oh, is it almost sounds like like a didgeridoo? It's just a kind of warping up and down the scales. Ah, those little subtle things are so great. They're like shoot a bow. We'll we'll do it in post. The effect. Who is that? She has an amazing voice. The hit on, on the match cut, the transition, it makes the drop so much more aggressive. And those pants just suit me up like a thousand percent. I'm noticing, I feel like, oh wow, I didn't notice that at first, the, the flip of the camera, the transition on Mia. I notice a lot of other people are getting screen time. She's such a badass. On oh, the green accents and the girl with the blonde hair. 
this whole set is awesome. I just love that kind of greenhouse looking glass floor and the the like shrubbery and the uh, and the uh, fun or whatever you want to call it coming from the ceiling is also underneath them. It like balances the image really well. That looks so good. It reminds me of that set in the beginning of Doo Doo Doo. Dude, the move where they lean back and shuffle their hands is so cool. You know, when I think of like, okay, everyone's trying to do Girl Crush these days. Girl Crush is the hotness. And to me, for my like biased personal opinion, I always felt that if you're gonna like going full Girl Crush, no one ever did it best than like better than clc in my opinion everyone can have their own um i felt it was like just right for them it was inherent to them and i feel that for everglow too these type of songs like just really vibe with them i, I don't even know their personalities but it just seems right it's a mix of their facial expressions their energy Mia's outfit, what, kind of all their outfits in this bridge. What? That like floral pattern underneath vests and straps and belt buckles. Damn, she's singing too. I'm really impressed by this. Mmm, and I love the like slight double time here to outro it. Oh, <laughs> that's just gross. Like that part just feels gross. I need to take a shower after watching it. Their little like weird skanking they do on the ground. Shit. Oh. That was a great comeback. You know, I, I said I, I never, for some reason, see as Everglow like one of the top girl groups and it's probably just that annoying ass thing that they don't come from one of the big three or something like that. And that's probably what it is. And it's unfortunate because I do think that they have a pretty big fan base. I'm pretty sure this song is doing really well. Yeah, 17.5 million views in two days. Like they should be considered up there for one of the bigger girl groups. I just don't think that people perceive them in that way. And funny enough, La Di Da, their last uh, comeback, that song is like so up my alley that 80s throwback like rain slick streets sin city black and white look it was it, so my thing and i really did like the song a lot but it, weirdly not as much as others seem to but this one is striking initial chord with me way way more and i'm i'm totally in for it man i really like this a lot and i'm hoping that this being a single release is maybe a setup for some true uh, mini album. And I haven't listened to any of their full albums outside of like the two B-sides I know, which I will look up right now to tell you what my my favorite Everglow songs are because they're not, they're not singles, weirdly enough. I really enjoy uh, Hush and You Don't Know Me. So those were the two that were on the Adios album and Hush and You Don't Know Me are two really good songs. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm very stoked for whatever they got coming next. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm sure you loved it. We're going to check out the comeback stage right now. Uh, join us on Patreon if you're interested in that, and I will see you guys next time.